Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Christina from Hourwood Home and today I'll be talking about Proverbs 31 verses 16 and 18 as we continue to work through this little mini study series. So let's uh, take a look at those verses and see how they apply to our lives in present day. She considers a field and buys it. From her earnings she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She senses that her gain is good. Her lamp does not go out at night. At first, I didn't really know how these verses could apply to women today because how many of us go out and buy a field? But after doing some studying, um, here are my thoughts on what it means for us um, in present day. Firstly, she considers a field and buys it. From her earnings, she plants a vineyard. From this, we can learn that this Proverbs 31 woman is financially wise and has extra means for large purchases. The word considers indicates her ability to think critically and thoughtfully before making decisions. The field she purchases makes her a profit because she made a smart purchase of land that was able to produce well. She then turns around and plants an even more profitable crop in the form of a vineyard. The section that talks about girding herself with strength and strengthening her arms. Um, some translations say she girds her loins, but whatever translation, it just means to tuck up long garments so they're not in the way. This was done when hard work was expected. So from that, we can understand that the Proverbs 31 woman was ready to get involved in all aspects of her field and vineyard venture, and she kept herself physically in shape for the labor involved. The final part of this verse that says she senses that her gain is good, her lamp does not go out at night, indicates that she has worked hard and has been successful, and she continues to work hard. She knows her businesses, businesses have been profitable because she is savvy and money-wise. I want to point out an interesting thing that people seem to overlook when reading Proverbs 31. It was written by a woman, King Lemuel's mother to be exact. This passage of scripture isn't some man's fantasy of a perfect wife that is unrealistic and unattainable for the average woman. This is the advice of a mother telling her son what to look for in a wife because she knows what it takes. Now, I don't know about you, but I doubt my husband would be happy if I told him I bought a farm or a field or anything like that. He would probably wonder how I did it because um, I probably wouldn't qualify for a mortgage on my own and I certainly don't have a small fortune tucked away. We make decisions together, which I've talked about um, in the form of biblical submission on my blog and here on my channel. So if I were to make a large purchase like that on my own, it would be really weird. Is this passage of scripture telling women that we should go out and do that? I really don't think so. Let's take a look back at verse 11 in Proverbs 31, which, uh, which says, The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. The Proverbs 31 woman has proven trustworthy, and her, and her husband is confident in giving her a portion of their family income to do as she sees fit. He knows that she will make wise spending choices, and he respects her financial investment decisions. When she spends or invests, she takes her time and is confident in her choices. She looks ahead and plans accordingly and, and isn't afraid of hard work because she knows she's capable. Finally, how this applies to us today. The worthy woman of Proverbs 31 should inspire us to firstly, use our funds wisely, be it for large purchases, investments, or routine purchases. Secondly, we should be encouraged to make wise choices in all aspects of life and be confident in our decision making. And finally, we should be working hard at our jobs, whatever they may be. Working outside the home is a reality for many women, so they should be doing so diligently and well. Similarly, women who work at home or are full-time homemakers slash caregivers should do so with purpose and hard work. I hope that this short video is encouraging to you and that you're able to look at these passages of Proverbs 31 with a new um, viewpoint and motivation to implement them in your daily life. Thank you so much for coming onto my channel for this week's video. I just want to say once again that these are just simply my opinions. 
um, and my interpretations of this passage of scripture. So if you have differing views, that's totally fine. I'm not going to take it personally. Um, I never claim to be an expert on anything biblical related or really an expert in anything. So let me know uh, what your thoughts are on this passage and just Proverbs 31 as a whole. I will be continuing to upload this series throughout the rest of fall and winter. Um, I'm probably going to be spreading it out over a few weeks with some different videos um, to just to mix it up so it's not all the same type of content on my channel. And in December you can look forward to some holiday related videos. I don't know what yet, but we'll see what I can come up with. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.